Hey water signs, it's Goddess Puff, and we're about to find out if you will get back with your person. We're jumping straight into it with an oracle card message for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Spirit, will the water signs get back with their person? Will Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces get back with their person? We're going to do two more shuffles. Will Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces get back with their person? Spirit, whoa, that was a hot mess. Last shuffle. Will... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, get back with their person. Okay, let's find out. All right, Spirit's telling me to pull three right off the bat. Okay, they gave me four. Falling, the unknown descent momentum change. All must have prizes, trying to please everyone. Got Cancer with that one, no shade, all T. Follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. I'm already getting, you're changing. Your wants and needs are changing. You're tired of pleasing others. And there's something or someone, some glimmer of hope, something new that's going to spark your curiosity. Go for it. Even if some women, you're on your lunch break, headed to work, whatever. If you see a white rabbit, metaphorically, go after it. Never jam today. I feel like you don't pleasure yourself in the moment. Even if you have the reward, the money, the resources, finances, you don't go for it. You're like, okay, I'll do it when I have the money. Then you get the money, and I'll do it later. You never do it. Never jam today. Promises that never come to be empty words, not living in the now. Eat that damn cupcake. I feel like someone literally got this cupcake with the cherry on top with the whipped cream. If you don't eat that damn cupcake and stop playing... Before it gets stale. <clears throat> Ooh, I rarely see this card. Overall energy, find the lesson. It's like a Where's Waldo type of card. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. I'm going to read this at the end. I feel like I should read that at the end. All right, let's get the tarot popping. Get it popping. All right, for my water signs, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Will they get back together with their person? Will Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces get back with their person? Shuffling the other one. Two more times. Will Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces get back with their person? Will Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces get back with their person? Okay, let's find out. I'm getting a song. It's a song by Tyler, the creator, and Cali Uches. And I think it's um, beautiful. I think it's called Beautiful or something like that. And it's like, um, why did the lyrics just leave my head? As soon as, as, soon as I said it, it left. I'm going to post it on my channel. But I think it's like, I know you're the one for me. Or something like that. Anyway, we got the Knight of Cups. So there is clearly a love offer. Could be an apology for some... Of you but I see it as a love offer Queen of Wands that's clearly you I'm seeing you as the Queen of Wands water signs very fiery attractive and then the Knight of Wands hate them overall energy the two of cups so you may have multiple options a water sign and a fire sign or you may just have someone offering you love and passion there's someone coming in with a lot of love on one side, and then there's someone coming in with a lot of passion on the other side. It could be one and the same, but the over energy is the two of cups of soulmate. So could you get back with this person? Yes, you have the opportunity to do so. Let's get some details on this. Clarify. Clarify this message for my water signs. Please clarify this message for my water signs. Please, spirit. Last shuffle. Please clarify this message for my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay. If you hear any noises in the background, those are just my guinea pigs. They like to act up for when I'm doing readings. Clarifying the Knight of Cups is the Knight of Swords. You got a lot of knights, so you got a lot of options. So when you when you clicked on this reading and it said, "Will we get back together?" Who were you talking about? The water sign, the air sign, or the fire sign? With who? Because you got a lot of options. So who? I'm not dragging you or anything, but who are you trying? I want to put my whole head in this reading like, who are you trying to get back with? <laughs> who? Because you got a lot of people. Which one? Which one? <laughs> I 
I want to get, I want to side eye y'all so bad. Like, who? Like that Snoop Dogg meme. He's like, who? Who? Anyway, clarifying the Knight of Cups is the Four of Cups. You're ignoring an offer. It may seem too rushed or you're uninterested. It may be someone who you feel like is falling in love with you a little too quick. Like, boy, you don't even know me. Or girl, you don't even know me. Calm down. But there's someone trying to rush in and probably love bomb you. Someone you dealt with. And you're like, uh. Or maybe you got a lot of, a lot of other options in front of you, but you still want to... You trying to see if you'll get back with this other person. Maybe you're entertaining people or that person's doing this, but still thinking about you or while you're waiting for them or while they're waiting for you. Clarifying the queen of wands is the nine of wands. Perseverance. You moving forward. You don't care. You like, look, I ain't going to wait around for you. I got options. Okay. I got options. And then the seven of wands, you're protected and very, very guarded. The seven of wands is guarded. The nine of wands is guarded. You're very guarded against this person. Clarifying the knight of wands is the seven of pentacles. Very opposite energies. Because the knight of wands is a, a flighty energy, unstable. Neither here nor there. They leave as quickly as they get there. But the seven of pentacles is reevaluating an investment, something long term. Then we got the four of wands. Turning a hoe into a housewife? What? Overall energy is the nine of pentacles. Single, solid, stable, and abundant. Beyond safe. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's, let's. Because this person kind of confused me. How you got a knight of wands trying to offer you love and marriage and long, longevity? And then you got this, this king, this knight of cups. Rushing in and you uninterested. You got you in the middle and you you very attractive. So of course you're you're inviting all these knights, whether you're male or female. A fe the feminine in tarot is just receiving, the masculine is doing. So whether you're male or female, you are the queen of wands. And you're attracting all these knights. And you're uninterested by this knight of swords and knight of cups. But it's something about this this knight of wands. Something about this Knight of Wands. And, um, soulmate. Someone who's single. A bachelor. But you're very guarded. If this person is keeping, is giving you empty promises, it's a no. Let me, um, pull out my my trusty third deck and clarify a little bit more i'm gonna say no because it ain't no kings here we have many soulmates in life many are here for our lesson and they're all blessings okay i don't like this knight of swords you may out of all these ones you wanted to settle down with the one that you couldn't hold on to but let's clarify this and see um, let me, uh, let me shush and, and get the clarifying. All right, last shuffle. Okay. Yeah, you're going to get the message from this person. All right. Now, what the hell? Clarify the, the Knight of Wands. Let's see what's up with them. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Please give us clarity on that one. Because I feel like that's the one you want. Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles. They still not even sure. There's someone from your past who was a player. Uh, in and out, on and off energy. Never stable. They, they never wanted to commit. They coming back in for a new beginning. Clarify the Knight of Wands one more time. Almost said the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, what the hell? Ten of, ten of Pentacles? What the hell? They've been spying on you, sacrificing. Okay, okay, okay. This person. Now let me say something. Let me let me say something. This person is single now. Okay, you're uninterested in this king, this knight of cups, and this knight of swords because there's someone from your past. 
who was in and out, on and off, never gave you what you wanted in the moment. It's going to be something long term with this person. And I think that's why they came up as the Knight of Wands so that you know exactly who this person is. There's someone who you dealt with in the past that was a player. They never committed. They never wanted to settle down with you. It's not like they cheated on you or anything. They let you know up front like they weren't ready for commitment. They always let you know that straight up front. They never tried to play you. This isn't no cheater. They let you know up front they didn't want commitment. They were always in and out. It was always on and off with this person. They are coming back in because they want a new passion in the beginning with you. And for some fucking reason, they got the Ten of Pentacles. Longevity, your children and your children's children. Financial stability. They want long term. They want marriage. They want a home. They want union with you. Uh, soulmates. And they are very much single. This is insane. What, what What is the Seven of Pentacles? Y'all saw how that fell out? A whole deck. The Eight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. They are disappointed and ashamed of their past and how they treated you. They want a teamwork collaboration with the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Death Card. They have gone through a major spiritual change. Could be a Scorpio, could be any sign. But there is a player from your past who has changed. And now they see long term with you. They are single. Right behind that is the Nine of Pentacles. And they see you as the Nine of Pentacles. Single, solid, stable, and abundant. And very attractive. Getting a lot of attention. But this person sees you as the one. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. They want to close this cycle with you. Ugh. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the Knight of Candles, the Knight of Wands behind us again. They're going to come in and offer you love. And they want... They want a family with you. They want the end all be all with you. But they're still coming up as a as the Knight of Wands. So maybe, hmm. Let me, let me, it's time for me to read this card. Because they are going to come in telling you that they want to have a family with you. They want to get married. They want the end all be all. But there's something because they're still coming up as the Knight of Wands. So let me see. Let me read this card and see if it gives us more clarity. So let's see what it says. The quote here is, perhaps it hasn't won. Alice ventured to remark, perhaps it hasn't won. Okay. Let me read the divination because that's confusing. Upheaval, quarrelsome people, disputes, antagonism, and confusion. Uncertainty about the purpose of a situation. Yeah, because this don't make no type of sense to me. Feeling frustrated and ready to complain. Let it go to the universe. Ask the universe for clarity and trust that time will bring an understanding of the lessons this uncomfortable adventure is teaching you. Reversed. The reversal of this card amplifies the confusion you may be feeling. <laughs> Sorry, you just gotta laugh through it sometimes. A challenging time that feels very unfair. There is a reason though. It may be too hard to even begin to contemplate that there could be a higher purpose to this situation right now. Give yourself a little bit of space and be patient with yourself. Don't struggle to find the reason. Just find a way to make it through what is happening. So spirit is telling you to guard yourself and persevere and protect your energy against this person. This person is coming back and telling you what you want to hear. And, and they, they may want to marry you and be with you, but they're not ready. They're not ready. They're giving you empty promises. Never jam today. Promises that never come to be. Empty words. Not living in the now. I'm going to read this and get you your final oracle card message. After this, let me get to that. So, never jam today. Oh, I, I like this quote, so I'm going to read it. Alice couldn't help laughing as she said, I don't want you to hire me. I don't care for jam. It's very good jam, said the queen. Well, I don't want any today. 
What, well, what did it say? Well, I don't want any today at any rate. You couldn't have it if you wanted it, the queen said. The rule is jam tomorrow, jam yesterday, but never jam today. The divination is words are plentiful, but deeds are few. Thinking that the past and the future are better than the present. Being attracted by promises of good times and abundance that never be kept. Boasting of plenty, but never enjoying it in the moment. Manipulation and withholding. Demand results in the present and work towards satisfying your desires yourself. So work on satisfying your own desires on your own. Don't buy what they're selling. How they gonna be the Knight of Wands but come and offer you the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups? That's why it's confusing because it's like, how you gonna say, I don't wanna be a player no more and offer this Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups but you're still showing up as the Knight of Wands? Where do you do that at? How? How, Sway? Don't make sense to me. That's a clear no. So are they going to come back? You will have the option to get back with them, but they're going to come with the same energy. They have not changed yet. This is a soulmate, but they still playing games. Send them on their way. Send them on their way. Protect your energy and persevere. Keep doing what you're doing. I feel like right now you're not in contact with that person. You're working on yourself. You're looking good, smelling good, feeling good, working on your finances and enhancing your beauty, you know, self-love and self-care. Feed that self-care and self-love. Stop um, being a people pleaser. Who cares what this person wants? Focus on new things. Feed new hobbies, new curiosity. Okay, who cares what this person wants? Protect your energy, continue forward, persevere, sacrifice, and be guarded. Protect your energy. I don't like them. Because you are very fiery and attractive at this time. This person just wants to have their cake and eat it too. They may want to tie you down. They may have that feeling. I truly feel like they do love you and they do want to settle down. They do want a family, but they're not ready for it. They're, they're not ready. They haven't gone through the change yet. They haven't gone through the change. They're making empty promises because they're not there yet. Well, let me get you your final oracle card message for the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Final oracle card message for my water signs. Two more shuffles. You know, that's the last one. Let me get the card. Okay, we have sit in silence and feel your heartbeat, the rhythm of your life force. Trust and keep trusting. You are taken care of. So you are protected. You are protected at this time. Overall energy, you are on a floating rock in infinite nothingness. How can you take life less seriously? So have fun. Again, follow your curiosities and these new things or new people that entice you. Follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. So if you have some encounter that really feeds that fire within you, go for it. You are protected. And um, let this person figure themselves out. All right, so water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That is your reading. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share. And I send you all peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.